NROs or whoever is making the rules response to reducing high tackles is tackle lower. And I don't think I've heard of a more idiotic response. So obviously the crackdown, um, in my opinion, it's given a bad name to the game, but everyone has their own opinions. Um, look, it's quite obvious now that a lot of players will be looking for penalties. They'll be looking to milk penalties, whether it's laying on the ground for at least 20 seconds or to run lower, you know, run lower. And if you feel a hand or if you feel an arm just hit your face, just, oh, make an overreaction and you get a penalty. It may be even a sin bin. Um, I'm not a fan of that. I'm, I, I think a lot of others aren't a fan of that. That's not rugby league. That's not what people come to see rugby league. Rugby league is a tough contact sport and when people are faking injuries, it ruins the game. It ruins the reputation of what the game was built. Could you imagine if players like Andrew Morley, Sam Burgess, Gordon Tallis, all those three of the hardest players in all of rugby league you know, do shit like that? It, it will honestly piss me off and piss a lot of people off. So that's one thing. Another thing is the NRL's response of um, improving tackling, which is tackle lower. Now, there are a lot of things with tackling lower. And let me just say one thing right now. If people agree with that response, do not watch a game of rugby league again. Tackling lower is the most idiotic response. But when Gus Guild, uh, Gus Guild, uh, he mentioned this on, uh, I think it was 100% footy. Um, and he said this is this was a question he asked to Peter Bellani. He said, if someone like James uh, Jason Tamaloi was to run at you, how would you tackle him? And Bellani's response was, I'll tackle him low, tackle him around the legs. Gaskill said, you would not last two minutes. As soon as you make that tackle, we'll be stretching you off. And I agree 100% with him. But let's say one thing. If, if you're one-on-one -on -one with a player, then it's not your fault. It's your two players around your fault because you, you should never be tackling anyone one-on-one, -on -one, especially someone like Jason Tamalone. But here's the thing, right? Players tackle upper mix section and they always go for what? What's the what's what's the main thing you do in that tackle? You go for the ball. Why? So the player doesn't turn around and offload. But with this new crackdown, how it is right now, players are probably going to be running lower and contact to the head. No one wants to risk that. Nobody wants to risk a simbin or a penalty. So, and it also comes this, well, if you don't want any of that, tackle lower. I'll tell you one thing. You start tackling lower, not only will we see more concussions, and I'll get to that in a minute, but if you tackle lower, what's a player up here going to do? Well, no one's tackling high. you got a free hand. Boom. Offload. Does the NRL not think of this? And what I said before about concussions, if you tackle low all the time, I mean, with players running like this, you got an elbow, you got hips, they, they, they turn it to the side. I mean, Boyd Corner even said that, you know, uh, his, his, um, his, his, his concussions and what led to his retirement was his tackling technique. Um, I don't think the people who are making these rules actually really understand the game of rugby league. I have actually played it for a while, well, played it a lot, and actually really know it by a... They just, they see the game by a business perspective. But this crackdown is just, it's just business people trying not to get sued. That's basically what this is. They're trying not to get sued. Sued by who? Sued by parents who want to put their kids in rugby league. Here's a big spoiler. The NRL is just a huge advertisement. It's, it's a huge advertisement for parents. Because when their parents, you know, six o'clock on a Friday night, when they're looking at their five year old son and think, huh, oh, I want to put my son in sports, what sports should I put, put in? Uh, maybe soccer, maybe AFL, turn on TV Channel 9, see the Friday night game, let's say probably, you know, Storms Dragons. Oh, that seems all right, rugby league. They're trying to make the, they're trying, they're trying to make the game look safe. So more parents 
you will be uh, letting their kids play and they won't be getting sued. Oh, he did a high tackle. Oh, it's because he, he watches them. He watches them footy players on TV. As Ricky Stewart said, the game not for everyone. It is a tough physical sport. And you will never get rid of high tackles, no matter how hard you put this crack down. The NRL really needs to look at this rule and think what they are doing. Because they are ruining the game. Tackling lower. You'll be getting more concussions if you start tackling lower. That's one thing. You, that, that tackling lower, you'll be going against what, what the rule you'll be going against what the rule you brought in is for. To reduce concussions. Well guess what? A tackling technique like that will in it will um, increase concussions. There are so many reasons for this crackdown. How about, I've got this one reason to get rid of the crackdown. It's rugby league. It's a contact sport. Okay? People come for the physical hits. People come for the aggressive plays. They don't come to watch people milk penalties. They don't come to watch stop the tackles. It's going to come to a point where you can't even touch the player. All right? That's why we're getting these 50 and 60 points. People are risking tackling high and getting a, sin, getting a send off or a sin bid. And that's why a lot of players are running. Because they're, they're, they're tackling with arms and not with shoulders. Um, I don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. This crackdown, it, it can be, it, um, it can work. I'm not saying it can never work. If they want to just put more thought into it, they said this crackdown rule was brought, what was it, before the game, but was um, enforced strongly uh, before major ground rule. <sighs> I mean, if it, it was, if it had, if it's been ruled in from the start of the year or whatever, however long it was, it should have got more thought and more time put into it because it's um, it's not, it's making the game look soft. It really is. Um, Hopefully, there's, hopefully a change happens, but until then, we're stuck with this, and all we got to do is uh, hope for the best. Um, that's all I got to say. Chomper Videos out.